I'm going to get real candid right now. Hi guys, it's me, Just Jane. You can just call me Jane. I'm back with another video. So, as you can see, I'm in a whole different place, different part of my house. I've been kind of kicked out of my room. Nothing bad. It's just Zoom meetings for the entire family. So this video is basically just going to be a messy rant, bare minimum editing because I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm really mad, you know? This is basically me ranting about YouTube and like what makes me so annoyed with YouTube. As you can see, I did not upload on Tuesday. I apologize for that. It's just the video I was doing, it was about like, I it wasn't about toxic family. It was about toxic traits within family, friends, and partners. I was so excited about that video. I hyped it up so much. I hyped it up twice. I never do that with any video because I like I don't want to promise anything that I know or that I feel might not happen because I really genuinely thought that that, that video was going to come out and it was going to be great but it didn't because every time I went to film it my energy was just off I was like dry it was really important to me but it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted to and I refilmed it like three times in two different editing styles I tried to do a skit I've never done a skit not since like those acting classes. I was not a good actress. I'm trying to focus more on the quality of my videos compared to like when they're supposed to go up. So it's like, ugh, I'm trying to put more effort into my videos now, but it's just like, oh my gosh, it was not good. And so I feel really disappointed, especially since I'm not in the YouTube partnership. So I can't tell you guys on like a community tab that I'm not uploading. Like I can't tell you guys that. But anyway, getting onto this video, I'm just gonna go through a bunch of different things that make me mad with YouTube. First off, talking about the process of uploading. When I first started YouTube, I was like, oh, so you just press this old camera looking thing that says upload a video or go live and you select upload and it will upload your video. I didn't realize how long it takes to upload the video, especially since I use iMovie as my editing software. So it takes a while from there for iMovie to save something as like 4K, which is the highest quality video on there. It normally takes like 15-ish minutes to do that. And then through YouTube, it takes like 15 minutes to upload and then like an hour or two to process depending on the length of it but that will just process sd which is like standard definition it's, it's like it's not that good right it's like it's gross then when you go to upload it in hd it takes longer too especially depending on the length of the video if, the, if your video is really long it's gonna take forever iphone storage oh my gosh like i said i have an iphone so i'm doing this on my iphone I have 64 gigabytes because if I had 16, I would not be able to do this. Almost all the time, like I have to be patient because I don't want to go over it before. And I'm always checking like my storage before I go to film a video. Right now I think it's at like 44. We're not going to talk about it. So that scares me because I go to save the video for iMovie, like to save it to my photos. It says storage is full, not enough storage. That's the most annoying thing for me. I absolutely hate that. Hate's a strong word, that's why I'm using it. That's why I lowered how long my videos were solely for that fact, just so I can have more room. And it's just like, it's frustrating because there's a lot more things I want to say that I don't say because I want to keep my videos shorter so I don't have to worry so much about the storage. Next, engagement. Engagement is not that bad. Like, I mean, <laughs> I barely get any comments, but I, I don't expect too many comments, honestly. I'm not saying I have low expectations, but looking at my subscriber count and then looking at like my view count, I'm not that mad about it. I'm not gonna like beg for views. I'm not gonna beg for like subscribers. I'm not gonna beg for that stuff because that's just annoying. I don't wanna be a stereotypical small YouTuber. Like that just makes me cringe. Also, I wanna talk about niching. If you don't know what a niche is, it's basically like what your thing is. I don't really have a thing. I wanted to do like lifestyle slash discussion and then natural hair stuff. Natural hair stuff lasts just because there's only so many natural hair videos people can do and I don't want to exhaust them all at once because then I won't have any more natural hairstyle videos to do. I include like unpopular opinions with discussions because I feel like it's like the same kind of thing. I guess this can be a discussion but like sort of, you know, any rants kind of unpopular opinions and then straight up let's talk about those to me are all discussion videos and that's what I want to do too. Not too much commentary because I don't know. A lot of commentary people jump on it before they get the whole story and i'd rather not do that i'd rather talk about like things that like will stay in the moment not things that are like for a split second let's talk about editing like i've been saying i use imovie to edit i low-key hate imovie i'm not even gonna lie um i wish i had final cut pro but i'm saving up money for that i don't know when i'm gonna get it but like i know i'm gonna get it soon and i'm gonna upgrade to a different recording device because like i said my phone is suffering in terms of editing 
there's like a limited amount of things that I can do for editing. I wish I could do more. It's just, I know it's gonna take a while because I need to find my editing style. I've been going through like an editing renaissance, like per se, like trying to figure out what editing style suits me, like what music suits my videos and all. But it's just frustrating because you don't know until like you do it for a long time and then you might keep changing what your thumbnails look like. You might keep changing how you edit your videos, but what music you use. And it's like, it's not a big deal, I'm pretty sure to some people, but it's like annoying because I wish I already knew what that was so everything could be like the exact same for like a long amount of time. But also like with editing, you don't want to stick with the same kind of editing pattern. Yeah, people get used to your editing style, but it's like, I feel like it's boring if it's the same way the, like for forever. <sighs> also, I guess I want to talk about like small YouTuber thoughts, I guess. I feel like a lot of small YouTubers are either like, oh my gosh, no one pays attention to me because I'm a small YouTuber. Or they're like the shy small YouTuber. And I feel like I, fit more in with the small like the shy ones because i do want to talk about youtube more on my instagram but like i'm focused on other things on my instagram i don't really talk about youtube on my instagram because like i don't want to say i'm embarrassed i just like want i want to be like bigger ish like now like but i know growth won't happen until i put more effort in also speaking of engagement like i already mentioned it before but i'm gonna go over it again it's hard to like get people to engage with your content without sounding like you're begging. Cause you want to say, Hey guys, you know, like comment and subscribe. Don't forget to follow my Instagram. I used to plug my Instagram, but now I don't do it anymore. Cause I feel like I'm begging. I just kind of keep it in my description box down below. I guess this has to do with niching again, but I just want to bring it up once more. As you can see, my content's kind of all over the place. Like, what kind of videos did I do in the beginning? I did very generic videos in the beginning. Like, I don't want to alienate any of my audience. But then again, I don't really know much about my audience. I don't know what they want to see from me. Mostly because, you know, no one really comments that. No one really, like... Like, I do get DMs, like, sometimes about, like, what content, like, to push out. But, like, I don't get that many. So, I don't really know. I'm kind of, like, guessing based off of views. But then views aren't that accurate. Eventually, I'll figure out, like my content more but i'm also thinking uh in the future maybe i'll make a second channel mostly about veganism because i don't want to bring it too much to this channel because i feel like the stuff i want to say about veganism is just a little too heavy for this channel because i'm excited like if i can do another channel i don't know how i would do that like uploading schedule i'd probably do it like mondays and fridays here and then wednesdays there which i want to do but you know i kind of can't right now but hopefully i get to do that in the future another thing about that i just mentioned like the days i want to the best piece of advice i got from another youtuber was to not promise a video i i forgot that advice and then i went and pushed the video that did not come out so i'm gonna stop promising like videos like i always say like i'll at least have like one video up a week like i'm that's the bare minimum for me personally. And then like two days a week, I feel like that's also like what I want to do. But like sometimes like it doesn't work out like how it did this week. It did not work out. Oh yeah, YouTube opinions. Um, Like I said, I try to keep my opinions out of YouTube. But every once in a while, I, I let them slip like about how I feel about something. Like that's happening right then that we make, we get information about it later. Which I wish I would just... I wish I would just shut up and stop doing that because I don't want to give my opinion about something that I don't know the whole story on. But I do that a lot. So I try not to do that on the internet because I feel as though doing that and saying those kind of things, I could be wrong and I don't want to be like, I don't mind being wrong. I'll admit it when I'm wrong, but I don't want to like have that be like a video I did like, I don't know, a year or two ago. And then people are still commenting, oh, you're wrong about this, you're wrong about this. Because I don't want people to think that I can't grow and change my opinions and realize more things, you know. So I try not to have too many opinions, but like, like on YouTube that I share. But I'm still going to have opinions. And if I do share them, I, I want you guys to know, like, if it's something that's happening in that moment, that's just something that I thought at that moment. I might not think the same thing in the future. My opinions can change. But if not, and if I was right, then I'm probably thinking the same thing. So you never know. Oh yeah, school and YouTube. There was, which video was it? It was how to go vegan, I think. That video I filmed, I know, I planned it that morning and I filmed it during my lunch period. And then I edited it like in between classes and then at, a little bit after school and then I uploaded it all in one day. Um, I know it's not a good idea to do that. 
I'm probably not gonna do that ever again because that's just a bad idea, but I'm super proud of myself. Like that was like, that was a big flex. I was really proud. For me personally, I wanna prioritize YouTube. I don't know, like, cause I feel happier doing YouTube and I like doing YouTube more than I like doing school. Even though, you know, school's a priority, school's important, education's important, but it's like, I already kind of know what I want to do like with my life. Like, like I said, I want to be an author, semi-translator for certain languages. And then I also want to do like YouTube because that's like fun for me. Because I feel like a lot of the things that I can't put into writing because it's too short, like I could just like share my opinion through YouTube. And I feel like YouTube is like a good gateway opportunity. Like I'm not saying I'm using this as a stepping stone, but like I've seen a lot of people use it as stepping stones and like also stay consistent with YouTube. <laughs> with YouTube. Because if I do use this as a stepping stone opportunity, I'm not going to abandon YouTube like that. Like, I might have to ha hire a team of, like, editors and managers, which I don't mind doing. But the thing that I'd still want, the, like, the fun of, like, being able to edit by myself if I do get to that point. That's all I have to say. This is kind of all over the place. I won't put much editing into it just because, like I said, I want it to feel more like a rant. Kind of all over the place. If I... Like, I'll figure out if I'm gonna do time stamps, but like I said, not promising anything. I didn't promise that. Please, I did not promise that. Don't, don't, don't show you I promise to do anything. No, I didn't. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like. Follow my Instagram if you'd like. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.